All right, boys, welcome back to the channel today. And for the next few days, we're gonna be installing this turbo kit. It's a flying Miata kit. On this Miata NV, I've got zero experience of installing a turbo on a naturally aspirated car. So this will be a first. Join me in this L of progress and see what happens. Let's get started. Yeah. We've got Ryan here, Waifu, you guys know him, obviously. He's gonna be helping me with this install because he's actually good at this stuff and I'm not, and I just kind of flail myself into it and see what happens. He kind of knows what he's doing. We've also got our boy here. Dude. Zach, yeah, do it. If you guys didn't see the video where I explained what all of this is, go back and watch it. I'll link it up on the top of the screen somewhere around here and you guys can watch that. But there is a bunch of stuff and we got to figure it out. Okay, so Ryan didn't even give me a chance to start filming, but he took off the intake because he's a yeah mechanic. And yeah, so that's step one. Apparently we're supposed to drain the fluids first, but your boy doesn't have jack stands because oh, he's a bitch. But that's okay. So intake's off. I think we're going to spray the all the exhaust stuff with PB Blaster because obviously look at this, not the best situation. So we're gonna get some PB Blaster on that and let it soak for a little bit before we go after it unless Ryan just can't handle himself. PB Blaster, oh my, this car is surprisingly, I know it looks amazing, but it's 23 years old. That thing has gone through about 3 million heat cycles. This car is almost 200,000 miles on it. All of these bolts are extremely suspect. And if any of them snap, we're in for a world of hurt. <laughs> All right, we let the PB Blaster sit for like a total of a minute and a half. <laughs> so we're gonna see if this works. Let's try, let's just try one of these bad boys, huh? Oh, there's there's a couple things that I wanna say about this. And, and one of them is just that it's factually easy for me to do things because PB Blaster works. And this didn't strip, which is step one of taking zero L's. Yeah, I might have PB Blaster on my hands and yeah, I might have a cystic burn on my hands in the next two minutes, but I got it. We're good. You know, not gonna affect how much horsepower you do, but you'll kick yourself later if you I'll don't. wink, dude. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. Nope. This is my favorite video. <laughs> Fragile dipstick. Yeah. <laughs> This is just a safeguard and prevents you from... Oh, another <laughs> wink! He's a uh, rotatious <laughs> little funion. <laughs> back up, please. Back up, back up, no pictures. It's a fragile part. Ryan, sir, Ryan. can I get a picture, please, sir? Six feet. Sir, okay, Six I'm sorry. Feet. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, Yo, this guy's insane. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh! Didn't think I could do it, because I didn't, because Ryan did it, because he didn't let me. I'm lucky. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I call PB Blaster, officer. Stand up! Oh my god. Hey, yeah, look at that. You I see can. that? Yeah. You see BP? BP? That's the Ooh. beast mode head. That's so sick. Dude, I got the best one! For everyone that doesn't know, this is Zach. This is my boy. Say what's up. It is what it is. Give me. Don't do it! Let me strip the bull. Hey, let me drive the bus. Can I drive the bus, please? Let me drive the bus. Is that it? Hey, so. Oh, this one's for Cameron Alfred. Okay, okay, all right, that's not enough. Oh, what the f- There you go. That's what a lot of people say when they see me. Please don't strip. Crank it. Oh god, that didn't sound good, did it? Oh yeah, broke it loose. You know what they call me back in my hometown? Big Papa Bags. I can't yeah, relax. Get, get I'm putting a turbo on one. Oh, I didn't go. Get, get it, get it, come on, come on, get in there. I'll protect your elbow. I'll protect your elbow. I got oh, your elbow. Oh yeah, yeah that's good. About. That felt <laughs> nice, that felt nice. It's making me feel yummy. What? Yeah. What's up? Sorry about that. I'm not bad, bro. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, my boy. I got it. Hey, you got it. Let me get in there. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. No, you didn't. I got it. I think it's stripped. No, no. it didn't. I got it. Relax relax relax, 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 relax. Hey, hey, hey. Take hey, a step back. Hey, step hey, back. Hey, hey. Step back. Everybody, step back. Don't get too excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Dom. Oh, no, get back down there. Get back down there. Let me see that sauce, dude. I didn't know you had long back syndrome. <laughs> I didn't realize your ass was down by your knees. <laughs> you want the <laughs> <shit> installed? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Gotta order the pizza for the boys. It's gonna be a long day, boy. As you guys know, Throttle's been a huge supporter of the channel for a long time now. And they're building one of my favorite cars ever. You may not know this, but your boy's kind of an Audi guy. Just a little bit. I've had an Audi S4 and it was sick and I miss it. They're building a 2018 Audi S4 right now and they're giving it away to one of you guys plus $20,000 in cash. Every $1 you spend on Throttle's website is one entry to win this 2018 S4. And if you want some help, use my code GRIFFINB. It'll get you up to 50% off all parts and items on the Throttle store. I wish you guys luck. An asshole. <laughs> Use that strength, baby. Come on, get that EGR. Is that a DGR? Oh, no, no. All right, he knows. 
Oh, that a piece of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> it's not going. Get your car heart on, baby. Come on now. Get your car heart on. Thank you, Danica Patrick. I'm hey, that's not that's not, not right. Yeah. This what you're using? No mm, one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm gonna break this line. Maybe not. I'm gonna break the line. <laughs> ah! Oh, dude, it has a. Hey, dude. Hey, make the bolt more in the worst place ever. Make it more in the worst place, right? Make it more in the worst place. Engineers don't care about mechanics. Yeah, they don't. Apparently not. Hey, guess what, baby? Confidence in the garage. It's pretty easy to get All to. Right, kind of messed up the, the bit there. Okay. Hey. All right. Bro, you're scaring me. Yeah, I know, I scared myself too. The EGR valve thing is in the worst position possible. There's a bracket that doesn't allow you to fully crank it. You get like an eighth of a turn and that eighth of the turn is like loading up the wrench on the on the bolt or whatever. So it's not happening. Yeah, dude, I'm not, I don't know what to Loading her up, baby. Loading her up, baby. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of load on my trailer. Got the dually. Oh, damn. Get out of my face, boy. <laughs> All right, so we have to drain the coolant because, I'll, well, I'll show you why. This right here, you probably can't see it, but this back here is an EGR valve. And in order to get that, these two lines are probably gonna have to come off because we can't turn the ratchet without hitting these and they're not allowing for any room to, to, to rotate it. So we're gonna drain the coolant, take these lines off. If we don't, <laughs> we're not progressing. All right, Jack's coming out. Oh, power lifter? Me? Yeah. Oh. Oh. God. <laughs> so in order to drain the coolant, we have to take off the all the all the lining in the fenders and the under tray. I can't get the fender liner off without taking out the, off all the wheels. So we're taking off the wheels. Then we're going to town and we're gonna get this damn header off because our only goal today is to get the exhaust off. Once the exhaust is off, our life becomes like ten times easier. We're gonna get that done, and then hopefully we can access those bolts after we take off those lines that have coolant in them after we drain the coolant. And I'm gonna cry. All right, so we got the fender liner off on the other side. We're gonna try and pop up this one. I guess these are meant to be broken. They don't, they don't unscrew. And they also strip every time you touch them. So it's really cool. I'm also learning that most of these under tray panel bolts that were supposed to be there are just zip tied in, which is really great. So they call that easy pickings. Easy pickings. Yeah, you know what they call that? Easy pickings. Watch this. Easy pickings. Okay, after about 45 minutes, dude, I figured out how to get these off. So all the under trays, all the fender liners are off. Now we can drain the coolant and actually attack this header once and for all. I'm not gonna lie, I was getting pretty damn mad. I was gonna throw a fit if I couldn't get that off and it was harder than it had to be. Bring that ass here, boy. Bring that ass here, boy. I'm gonna get this header off right now. Look at it. Okay, this is nice. This is exactly what I need. Look at that. Look at, take a good look at it right here. Oh, yeah. It's not gonna be there for much longer, right? We all accept that idea and that that theory. Taking the hood off? It's, no, the, the hood, the, oh, no, the exhaust. Is that the focus, focus? I'm about to get decapitated by a brake rotor. What is this? I don't know. Well, I, I can't even see it. I don't it. think that's a plug. Can you get, just give me a big old screwdriver, dude? Just hand me a fatty. I want a fatty from the front and the back. Oh yeah, okay. All right, hold on. Hey! Ow! <laughs> Ow! My eye! All right, so we got that done. That was insane. Actually, it wasn't that insane, but it felt really cool. I did it. There's also coolant all over the camera. Shout out to Zach. Slowly go like this. Just like that. There we go. That was, that was seasoned. Hey, Ryan. You cold? Yeah, dude. Yeah, baby. God damn. God damn. Yes, dude. All right, so that EGR tube nut bolt thing is not coming off today, which is extremely frustrating. That's like apparently one of the known things that gets stuck during this install. And we've got a crescent wrench, we've got a 22 millimeter, and that's all we've got, which both should work ideally, but unfortunately it's just too rusted in or whatever the, the case is. So we'll come back tomorrow with a, what, acetylene torch? Yeah, we're just gonna try and get this thing off. I'm gonna try one more time. If I strip it, I strip it, which I don't think I'm gonna even be able to do that, but you know, it works comes to worse, I cut the bolt, that's how we go, but that sounds like ass because getting an angle grinder in there or something that grinds it is gonna be incredibly tricky. <laughs> so, we'll see. All right, so that didn't work at all. <laughs>
We're gonna have to continue this tomorrow or the next day or whatever. The EGR pipe is like not coming off at all. So like I said, gotta get some sort of heat source on it to like make it essentially just let go of itself or get a different type of wrench. But we're gonna move them out of back into the space that it's gonna be sitting at for the rest of the day and attack this tomorrow.